So what is the theme of 2016? Believe it or not, it's strength. 2012 was relatability. People could relate more to Barack Obama than private equity mogul, multimillionaire. Mitt Romney was kind of stiff on the stump. He held him up by the feet, his hair wouldn't move. In 2008, it was about change and a new generation of leadership and all that stuff. They want to change from the war and the economic meltdown, all those things. This year, it's about strength. You talk about Hillary and Bernie in the debate, Hillary conveys dreams and idealism and looking at the future and changing America to take care of people who can't take care of themselves. But you know what? That's pie in the sky stuff. Hillary is about strength. I'm not gonna take any blank from anybody. I can get it done. I've been there. I've suffered through the wars with my husband. I've suffered through the wars with President Obama, with the Republicans. She just conveys toughness. And she is tough, and she's smart. You can say what you want about her, but those things you have to say, she has those things. Richard Nixon went to the family quarters when she was in the White House as First Lady. He wrote later that he saw Chelsea and Bill playing and tickling and kind of cuddling and laughing. Hillary tried to touch Chelsea, and Chelsea snapped her arm back. And Nixon wrote, that woman instills fear. She can make a great leader. Take it for what it's worth. Now, on the Republican side, Trump conveys strength. Now, Marco Rubio, who's the great white knight and the prince charming of this cycle, conveys hope and change and a new generation. It may not be his year because people want big cojones. They want to kick butt against ISIS and fix the trade imbalance with China, Japan, Mexico, build the wall. It could be strength that carries the day. So Trump and Hillary could go there just on the fact that they can pound their chest and instill fear in their enemies. And those are my two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Capital Consultants and Edge Construction. Mike Tuig and his staff can read your kitchen, your bathroom, your basement, or your staircase. Make your home feel just like home. We can talk about this and more on the radio tomorrow at 8 on 92.1 FM, The Mike, The Mitch Hank Show.